Oh, sir. Please, sir. Oh, sir. I hope he comes back quickly. I've been invited to Wales. But I can't be spared until Duke is mended. Gordon says I'm... er... insensible. An insensible engine like me shouldn't keep Henry waiting. At last we're off! Do come along! At last we're off! Do come along! I'm sorry I was impatient, Mr. Guard. I didn't want to be late. Insensible engines shouldn't be late, should they? I'll try. A real prince and princess came to see us. They rode in a special train. Driver said they were given some books about us, written by someone called the Thin Clergyman, but I didn't really understand that. No, I was a spare engine. It poured with rain and I got soaked. I pulled a special wedding train, though. We had to bring the coaches back very early in the morning. I've never been out at that time of the day before. I know what you mean. I had an adventure a bit like that just before I came back. It was a wet day and I didn't want to go out, but the driver said I must. Well, we set off. Luckily, the train wasn't very full, so we got on all right, even though it was raining. Then, we stopped at a station. Just beyond the station, there was a steep bit and a curve. Well, it was wet, so naturally I was concentrating on getting up the hill. As we came round the bend, a tree suddenly seemed to jump out at me. I tried to stop, of course, but my wheels slipped on the wet rails, and I ran smack into the tree. It hurt, I can tell you. The tree didn't actually hit me in the eye, but the driver and the fireman made such a fuss about it. Next morning, they put a bandage on my forehead and a black patch over one eye. Everyone laughed and said I looked like a pirate. Then I pulled a special train at something they called an AGM. They even wrote a piece about me in their magazine. Oh, it was great fun. He was in another part of the shed. The other engines told me that he's on the mend and he'll be back at work soon. He's lucky. He's got a lovely railway. All the same, it's good to be home. <laughs>